Casey Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. Okay, I want to thank all 1,420 subscribers in over 62 countries. Um, just want to say to everyone that I really appreciate you guys subscribing, and if you're a newbie to the channel, um, feel free to click subscribe if you believe in transferring knowledge to those who need it most globally. Also have some pretty big announcements. Uh, first and foremost is that the channel has a new gold sponsor and it's a firm out of London called Third Republic. Um, I've been talking to these guys for, I don't know, probably the last six months and they just decided to become a gold sponsor. So just want to say thanks to Third Republic. Um, they're um, a really innovative and just um, a new breed of recruiter to to say the least, and they're operating in really just the digital transformation space. So um, they specialize in ServiceNow, Salesforce, and Workday, and you probably saw the article where Fred Luddy um, was on the cover of uh, Forbes, and they also have been doing MuleSoft for a while. Um, the person that I deal with most is uh, Brad Potter. Uh, Brad's a great guy, and um, if you're a ServiceNow professional or in the cloud space and you work with one of those products, um, that I just mentioned, um, Brad's the guy to talk to, and here's his LinkedIn contact info. Um, feel free to shoot him a note. And for today, um, we are going to talk about how to give access to update sets to people who are not admins. Okay, so here we're looking at um, just an update set, and you know this is kind of what goes into it, meaning the updates that you make as an admin. A lot of people. Um, who use the platform but are not admins, are not familiar with um, this screen. But sometimes you might have someone like uh, Scrum Master, for example, who wants to monitor the work that's going on um, and kind of align the stories um, to the actual update sets. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. And we're going to um, take a look at our user here, Abraham Lincoln, who is not an admin. So if we scroll down, um, we'll see here that, and there's a couple of different components to this. And one of the reasons I'm doing this video is because um, in the documentation, it kind of just says, you know, just create an ACL, um, add the role, or create a role, add it to the ACL, um, make sure that you add a sys property. And if you've never done that before, um, it can be kind of intimidating. So I'm going to walk you through the steps. So the role that I created was called Update Set. And I'll show you how I do this. So we'll see here that when I sort on roles um, A to Z for Abe, that he is not an admin. And um, also, when we go to Abe's profile, um, we'll notice that he does not have a de developer tab right here. So first thing <clears throat> is to create the role. So when you click, when you go to roles, um, which is down here in user admin, um, you'll click on new and that'll bring up uh, just this screen here and you can type in the name of it. I just did update set. You'll see here the user has already been added to it and I'm going to show you what it looks like in Abe's profile later on um, when, we, um, when we implement the solution. So this is kind of step one. You're going to create the role. Step two is you're going to find your ACL and you have to be a security admin to do this. So you have to elevate your role. So a standard admin cannot add to um, just a regular ACL. So I added um, this role right here, update set, to this ACL. If we take a look at it, what is it doing? It's reading and it's going against this table, right? So update set or sys underscore update set. Here is an admin role required to read the update set records. You can modify this and put admin or um, update set. I think this team dev user or something that's been, been out there for a while. I've seen this a couple of times, but I um, didn't want to just put this in Abe's profile because I'm not sure what other ACLs there are um, or that this belongs to, right? This might be in other ACLs that I don't want Abe to have access to, so that's why I created a separate role. <clears throat> Again, many different organizations will do it different ways. Sometimes I leverage the old role that's there for this for the purposes of this demonstration I want to create a new role. So then after that we are going to add a sys property. It's called glide.ui.update underscore set underscore picker dot role. <clears throat> so you'll you'll click new because this won't be um, 
out of the box in your stack. So you'll have to create it. So when you click new, um, you'll basically cut and paste this. And there are instructions out there um, on the doc site that you can look up. But I, I will warn you that um, they're just kind of basic. So if you're a new admin and you've never done like sys properties before, um, that's really the purpose of this video to show you how to do it step by step in detail. So you'll see here the, the type is a string and then the value I put in there is update set. So it's basically saying, okay, this is the role that is able to see the update set picker. So we implemented that. And one thing I wanted to mention, um, going back to Third Republic, was that um, they are looking for an orchestration SME um, and like ASAP. They need someone to um, basically do orchestration um, for uh, the aerospace industry, I believe, or the airline industry um, in uh, the UK. So I'm just gonna scroll through this. Um, here's the location, the length and the salary. So um, if you're interested or you know anyone that is, just go ahead and contact Brad. So now going back to um, our user here, now we'll see the after, okay? So now Abe, you can see the update set picker here. Um, also, one thing to note is that it's critical that you put that role in the ACL. If you don't do that, then what's gonna happen is this will just be blank. You won't have any update sets in here. Um, it'll say something like undefined. And, I, and you know, I can even unwind that and show you in just a second. Also, another clue that this is worth is that we'll see here the developer options here, and we can show the update set picker um, in the header. But the real key to it is that, that ACL also to make sure that they have access to this table. Now, if you remember <clears throat> on the actual um, ACL itself, um, this is only a read operation. So if we take a look at Abe's profile right here, there's no new button. He's not able to create um, a new record. So if you wanted to have um, the ability to, to uh, create or to delete these update sets, which I wouldn't recommend ever deleting update sets, but that's a whole different conversation. Um, you could <clears throat> add those operations um, or excuse me, add the roles to those, those operations and create new ACLs. So let's just, for demo purposes, let's remove this update set role. And I'll update the record. And let's just make sure that role field cannot be empty. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Let's try that. All right, so now we'll see here, um, the role update set is not there. <clears throat> now I'm going to impersonate Abe Lincoln. And now we'll see that he has the picker, but you'll see it's undefined right here. So again, one of the keys to the solution will be to make sure that Abe has access to that, that table right there. So um, today, that was uh, pretty much a demo about how to give the, uh, the update set access to a non-admin, um, so that way they have this picker up here and also access to the table. My name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we just unlocked the power of ServiceNow.